Hey, what's up guys? I wasn't too thrilled with my last video. I mean, the melody was all right, but instead of going back and changing things, I'm just gonna let it live and let's just start something from scratch. Right now, I'm just importing my scale. We are gonna use the same scale as last time, the Sakura scale. I'm gonna look for a piano sound. Let's check for a piano. Let's go acoustic just to start. Uh, where is it? All right. A soft piano, preferably. Soft grand piano, that'll do the job. So I'm gonna do a little something, a little more turn up vibes. I got the tempo pretty high, it's at 162. Let's drop my grid down to eighths. I'm gonna have my pencil drawn in on a bar. I'm gonna actually do this in the MIDI editor. For today's purposes, I'm gonna drop it down to B. All right, let's start with some chords. I usually start with my bass notes. And I'm gonna keep it in this screen. We're gonna work a little differently this time around. I'm gonna put on the, tri the click, excuse me, click track. think is gonna help this also let's mess around with this velocity so we can highlight this and instead of this pitch bend we can change velocity here and then we can just randomly adjust the notes or what we can do is also in this screen hit oh, option I'm sorry option dash and we'll just start dragging these down and so I'm just randomly taking the notes and just dragging them down and adjusting the velocity on every single different one. And as I'm pulling this velocity down, you notice the changing of colors <clears throat> on these notes. All right. So I'm going to take off the click track from here and I'm going to put a little of uh, something on the higher notes. So for this part, I'm just going to highlight the two bars. Let's try it again.
I'm just gonna duplicate this and start building from there. For that length, make sure it's always on four. to these chords and I'm just gonna trim a little bit off the front of these notes as they hit just to give a little more you know just a little more flavor I guess I mean just I don't know I, I just don't like the melodies and the chords to be so hard on the grid um, and I think I'm gonna actually take some of these notes out to make some more room on that low end I think it's a little too cluttered um, so just bear with me here we go I think that sounds better. I feel like I made a little more room and I just had to mute some of those notes. Picked them at random. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that is right there. Um, so I think for now I'll just go ahead and loop it. So let's record it. You'll see me, see me do this a lot if you've checked out my other videos. Um, once again, I'm using my producer template that I created for Pro Tools free download hit my website if you want to uh, use the template to make beats and to also mix your beats in Pro Tools let's make sure that's an even four what I want to do from here is just add a little layer. So this bus is already has an EQ and a compressor. Let's see what's going on with the compressor. So you notice the threshold's a little low. Compressor's already pushing stuff down, squeezing things. Don't want that to happen just yet. I'm not ready for that. So I'll keep the compressor right above. You see that negative 12? So it, doesn't, so it doesn't really react with anything just yet. I want the sounds to still be as clean as possible, as stock as possible, before I start messing with things. All right, let's find something else. Let's keep going. Oof, that 
that's tough. I mean, like, not tough in a good, in a good way. That kind of hurt my ears. Let's add some effects on that. Let's tweak these up. Take a little something off the cutoff. I'll put that on reserve. Let's see what else I can find. So these muted notes, I'm just gonna erase them by double double tapping them. Cause I'm gonna mute some more as I go. So I don't want that to get in the way for me to get confused. I'm fine with that. Let's keep going. So I'm going to record that. Activate this. On the track, press record. Now I'm going to look for, give a little more ambiance. Let's go for a soft pad. Um, we got to make this bus 2728 back on master. I'm going to mute this for now so the pad can just focus on those chords. cushion so what I did is I adjusted the attack I increased the attack here reduced the cutoff let's record that Alright, so I guess at this point, I'm going to add another layer to those chords, but so what I'm going to do, instead of just playing these same notes, I'm going to drag these out. So a cool trick that I have when it comes to MIDI and Pro Tools, I'm going to arm a new instrument track. And so what I did was I just copied that MIDI, I'm going to paste it. So now this is pasted as a region, not just the notes. I'm gonna drag these out. I'm gonna use the time expression, time compassion, oh my god, time expansion compression. I'm gonna stretch this out to eight bars. And I'm gonna use that to support the chords on the bottom. So I'm gonna deactivate this. I'll bring another expand on now I'll hide and deactivate 
space for this. I'm going to actually start labeling piano, bell, And so what I'll do is I'll consolidate this to make this a full eight bars. So now we have this. I want to put this bell on a half time. So I'm going to pull up half time using my patchwork Blue Cat audio. I'm going to move these two samples down here where there's nothing in this group and see what happens if I just leave the half time on the melody part and leave the chords alone. Keep this on half. I like the halftime, but it's creating some mud on the low end, so I'm gonna just filter out that mud. Bring this up to like two, a little over 200. Let's leave it at 200 straight. I just want to hear one thing, just because it's coming to mind. Uh, let's go to modulation. back to default and what I'm going to do is just mess with the bit depth and see if I can create something nice. Mm -hmm. 
and I'll mess with the sample rate as well. So I'm going to throw a little shelf on the high end and see if I can clear out some of that noise. And for some tuning, I'd like to use this real ADT. See if the uh, classic preset works. The, the classic it gives it some movement. And so you notice that my aux 6 through 9 has got some levels coming in. All that is is the purple here, these two chords. And so this output 6 through 9 and this output from this bus one through five are all hitting my melody my melody mix bus at the same time. So let's see what's happening with the compressor. So I'm gonna show you the difference, the A and B of the compressor so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just really just adding glue. Um, so I don't want the gain reduction will go too much because then it's going to squish it too much and uh, you'll see what I mean. some more EQ here and I'm gonna just drop and shave off everything under 100 Hertz I don't care what it is I just don't want it and for this piano I'm gonna add a guitar amp this time. Let's listen. Yeah, I like that vibe right there. It's a good sound. 